Hey mate, Landon here from Zero Grid. Just thought I'd run you through the starter procedure. So this would apply for um, any of the Pylon Tech batteries with their communications. So the UP2500, the US3000s, Bs and the US3000Cs and also the US5000Bs. So they all have the communication port to talk directly to the Victron. And that's what I love about the batteries too, that they um, if they're, they're ever grumpy for whatever reasons, too hot, too cold, discharging too much, out of balance, whatever, they'll, they'll send an alert straight to our, um, our Victron units and we see them on the screen. So so that's good and, and that's why it's also important to have the communications working well so um, so that we can, we can learn about what the battery wants and what it doesn't want. And I'll run through that a little bit more. Um, so the first thing we want to do is to turn on the main battery oscillator. This is a system I've built. Um, and, and up up is always on so that's a big clunker so turn him on that's gonna um, connect the that's where the battery terminals come from the batteries so that'll connect the batteries to to the rest of the system so um, so you flick that one on and then on the bottom of the inverter which is the big box in this case the the multi plus there's a there's a three position switch and um, number one is is on is, which is where we want it the center, which is the circle, is off, and the um, the back position is charger only. And um, people ask me what the charger only thing is for, and, and I can't really think of many scenarios except for maybe like having lead acid batteries in a houseboat, <clears throat> and you have it plugged into the shore power, and you're wanting it just to be keeping the batteries topped up, but you're not wanting any of the 240 circuits to be live, so. Um, so that would be the the own real scenario, which which probably is a, a leftover feature from like lead acid days and and that type of stuff where you'd want to have it on charge all the time just to be to be keeping it at that um, top voltage. So so but on is where we want it. So then that'll be uh, using both of its charger and inverter features is what on is, and they're all similar underneath. And then what we want to do is to go through and turn on all of the um, solar circuit breakers. So in this one, they're in this little enclosure just here, and we want to flick all of them on. So then the charge, the solar charges will be ready for the battery voltage to be coming up. And then we want to do the same with the 240 volt circuits. Flick all of them on. Um, there's, there should be a, a similar enclosure, like a like a little box with a lid on it, or, or whatever your Sparky's done for you, really. And um, yeah, flick, flick all of them up, which is on, ready for the power coming in a second. So then on the batteries, use move my ugly face. Um, on the batteries, there's these little on-off toggle switches. They're like a rocker switch, so they'll go from um, one side to the other, and we want to go through and switch all of them to on. So say if you've got three batteries, it'll be on, on, on. And then the next part is on the the main battery. So the main, the master battery is the one that is the one communicating back to the, the Victron system. So all of the other batteries communicate to the master so then the master communicates with the Victron and that battery becomes the um, the master and everything else is a slave so that tells the solar chargers to when to turn off it tells you when the inverter to, to shut off for low battery capacity it tells us heaps of different things so so that's the the brains of of the system really so um, that master battery and that's the one that has the blue cable coming out of it which I'll show you is in this case is that top top battery that's where this main cable comes out of so that's that that's what creates that to be the master so then on that master battery we press and hold down that SW which is switch um, we hold that down for it's about five seconds and then you'll start seeing in the battery bank the top one it'll, the lights will come up and then the next one the lights will come up and the next one the lights will come up and don't be too um, concerned, they'll all flash a bit like a Christmas tree. Um, sometimes they're, they're doing different things, they'll be communicating to each other and they'll be all, you know, sharing secrets about balancing internal and, and all that type of stuff. So they'll, um, yeah, be, be, be trying to get happy and, and especially over that first period, especially if one battery's at, you know, 45%, one's at 50 and one's at 55, they're all going to want to balance out to, to come that, that perfect time. So. I, I have noticed before that it's taken up to even a day for them for them just to slowly balance out and 
and sometimes you can speed that up by um, giving it some shore power or some um, give it a real good charge too but um, so then after that what we're wanting to do is after a couple of minutes we want to um, check on your on your touch screen which however that looks which for us it, it looks like this this is a remote version of our touch screen in in the bus so what we're looking for on the first screen we're looking to see if there's a battery percentage so that's really quite um, a good indicator if the batteries are communicating but then um, it's a little bit delayed for me but you touch the screen and then you touch down here for menu if it wants to come this is over the internet so it's going to be a little bit um, delayed but what we're looking for is that one there for that pile on tech batteries so that's that's showing that it's communicating um, these are our batteries 66 percent that's not bad it's it's about 1 p.m. Um, just now or well, there's the time quarter past one um, so that's that's pretty good for us state of health 96 percent mm, yeah pretty good too <clears throat> we've had a batteries for two years and um, been you know giving them a real hard test they, they cycle pretty hard we get them down pretty low they, they go flat um, fairly often because we're quite limited in a bus um, with with the amount of solar that we got so only having 2.2 kilowatts and um, yeah and bus people are good at parking we in wonderful places too so um, also so what we can have a look for is that they're communicating um, and they're showing up on here and you can get different types of um, you know information out of here as well but an another thing to check so so that's good to see that that's communicating another thing to check is in here these are the solar chargers so we've got two solar chargers we've got that one there running a bank of four solar panels up the front of the bus or is that in the middle of the bus that one might be the bank of four in the middle and then there's three panels um, up the front off of this solar charger so so that's pretty expected they're um, 300 watt panels so yeah we're we're running it yeah I don't know maybe 75 percent efficiency in the middle of the day it's, it's not too bad but what we're wanting to check is to click on one of them and to go through um, it'll be up the top here somewhere this one here state external control that's what we really want to to see so that means that something else is telling the solar charger what to do so um, in this case it's the the batteries have become the master and that's just showing us that the solar charger has become its slave so um, that it's doing what it's told which is um, which is great and then you you also see as well with these batteries that <clears throat> because they are a master slave setup that they, they they can do funny things isn't really the term but like um, they can do different things when the battery's wanting different amounts of, of watts. So um, in that in the top ten percent is where the batteries internally balance. So <clears throat> they're made up of lots of little double A's if you like, um, strung together to make a forty eight volt, and they do them in series and and all that type of stuff in parallel. But um, in that top ten percent is when they're balancing. So they use little resistors inside of the batteries to then uh, balance all of them so, so that, that the same voltage all of those little cells so in that top 10 percent um, it can be quite slow to charge and it can sometimes also really um, turn your solar charges down so you might be like in in full sun and you'd be like man it's only producing 500 watts where i'd expect it to be 1500 watts or something like that and and that's because the solar chargers are, are doing what they're told for starters but the batteries are, are, are telling the solar chargers that I only want a little bit of power because I'm trying to, you know, adjust these levels to squeeze it in, and and then as as soon as they drop below that, and you know, they'll stop doing that job, and then they'll, you know, start start ramping up again as well. So, um, but they where well, they will slowly increase over the, over that time. But yeah, you you notice it's a bit like the fuel gauge in the car, isn't it? That um, that that last quarter always, you know, goes so go fast or or slow in, in this case, I suppose. But um, yeah, that's that's quite um, something to, to be aware of, I suppose. But they're the the main things that we we are checking. Um, there's a couple of little um, tricks, I suppose, with if they're not communicating. Um, and the things that we are looking for is the I, I guess the the common things causing them not to communicate is is this cable here. So. 
Um, that's the communications cable. It's you know either be a Type B or a Type A depending on your your batteries. Um, and if we've sent you one, we hopefully we've sent you the right cable. And the things that we're looking for is that they're connected to the right port in the batteries. Um, this one on the US, these are US 3000. It's called an A can, but um, on some of the other series of batteries, they're, they're slightly different. Um, so to to make sure that you've got the right one there. And then on the servo as well to make sure that it's plugged into the BMS scan port, which is the back left. So the back being the closest to the wall, if you like, if that's mounted on the wall. And another thing that is um, that I've done it more times than I'd like to admit as well is is this cable around the wrong way, which which sounds nuts for a cable, but um, but the the reason behind that is that this isn't just a, a normal off the shelf um, like a Ethernet or a Cat5 cable. It's a it's custom and and they've switched some pairs to be a communication cable. And, and some people make these cables and um, and and that's that's all good. But um, I I rather buy them. Then we know that they're going to work. We're not going to get the site and they're not going to work. But um, yeah, they 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 swap a pair. So it is important. There's two labels. One is called Victron VCAN um, Type B, and then this this end has. Um, BMS can written on on a white label closer to it. I don't think I have one of those here. Otherwise, otherwise I'd show you. It's just a little white label, and and that is important to get the right way around. So um, this here is a part of the um, document that we send you to to show that um, the way these cables are um, put together. So yeah, that's that's just a nifty little thing that we like to do to to help people and we, we really love the the pylon tech batteries and that they've served us and our family really well and our bus we um yeah we have, have been running them now for a while and um i'm really quite happy with them but yeah that's about it um hope that you have learnt something and that um yeah it, it treats you well your your pylon tech batteries in whatever setup that you're using and if you've got any questions, you can um, comment on this video or um, send us a send a message in whichever way you like. Um, yeah, and you can book book a call as well. That's um, that's a great way to be in touch um, if you if you ever need to have a chat chat one on one. Thanks, guys.